Hey everyone, in this video we're going to find the domain and range of various multivariable functions. Let's start with a very simple example. f of xy equal to 5x squared minus y. So the domain here is the set of all inputs. It's the set of all x comma y's that we can plug into this expression so where it makes sense. So there's no division by zero here. Um, there's no square roots. There's nothing funky. We can plug in any x and any y. So the domain in this case is every single x and y. So it's equal to the set of all the ordered pairs x comma y such that x and y are real numbers. So I'll say x and y are real numbers. So they could be any numbers. Uh, there's no restriction on x and y. Why? Because there's no division by zero. There's no square roots. There's nothing funky going on in this example. The range is all the possible outputs. Okay. So when you're thinking about the range, you want to think of this as being your z. And so z is an element in the range. So this could be any number, right? You can, you can get any number from this. Um, so the range here would be negative infinity to infinity, right? You could produce any number here. Um, like let's say you wanted to produce 2. Well, if you, wanted to, if, you wanted to be, if you wanted this to be equal to 2, you could make x0 and y negative 2. Right, and then this would be equal to two. So you can get any number uh, using x because you can use any x and y. So that's it. That's the first uh, example, kind of an easy example. Let's jump to a much more interesting one. How about this one? Little g of x y is equal to um, x times the square root of y. So let's go ahead and first find the domain. So the domain. Well, notice that we have a square root. So the square root tells us that whenever you have the square root of y, y must be greater than or equal to 0, right? Because it can't be negative. So that's our only restriction. x can be any number because it's not in the square root. So the domain here will be the set of all ordered pairs, x comma y, such that, well, x and y are both real numbers. I'll, I'll omit that. But the most important thing is that y is greater than or equal to 0. Right? So it should be greater than or equal to 0. There's no restriction on x uh, because x is not in the square root. As for the range, again, it could be any number here. Um, there's no restriction. Um, you could always make y equal to 1. If you did that, you would just get x. And so x can be any number, so the range can be any number. So there's no issues here. So the range is negative infinity to infinity. All right, let's do another example. How about, um, ooh, how about this one? z equals xy over x minus y. So let's look at the domain first. So domain, oh, solution, SOL means solution. So the domain is a set of all inputs. The only possible issue is the denominator here, right? This piece can't be 0. In other words, x can't be equal to y. So the domain in this case is the set of all ordered pairs, x comma y, such that x is not equal to y. So And again, x and y are real numbers, but I will omit writing that. As far as the range, again, it can be any real number. And let me explain why. Um, I guess you could, you could do something silly, like you could make this, um, you could make uh, y, well, if you make y equals 1, you would get x over x minus 1. And then using this, you can get any number, right? You can make it equal to 2, and you can solve for x. So you could, you could figure it out to where this could be equal to any number. So the range here, again, is all real numbers, right? So most of the time, that's the case. Uh, not always, right? Not always the case. In fact, in this next example, uh, you'll see that that is not the case. Here we have f of x, y equal to the arc, arc cosine of x plus y. Okay, and this here, this is z. This is z. And so let's find the domain. 
and let's find the range. So we want the domain and the range. So let me rewrite this uh, again. This is z equals arc cosine of x plus y. So it's the inverse cosine. So first of all, the range is something that people often memorize. Um, the range of the inverse cosine is simply 0 pi. So it's going to be bracket 0 pi. Okay. And so if you have, let's say you have um, z equals arc arc cosine of theta, just to make it simple. That, mean that, the co that would mean that the cosine of z is equal to theta, right? Because it's the inverse function. The arc cosine takes theta and sends it to z. So cosine takes z and sends it back to theta. And then so theta here uh, is in the range of cosine. So it's between 1 and negative 1, right? So here, in this case here, it'd be cosine of z equals x plus y. And this is in the range of cosine, so x plus y is between 1 and negative 1. The same as we did down here, right? Same thing. So here the domain is all of the ordered pairs, x comma y, such that uh, x plus y is between 1 and negative 1. Right? So that would be the domain. That would be the domain of that function. Let's do one more, one more example. Say we have f of x, y equal to the natural log of x, y minus 5. And again, we're looking for the domain and the range. If it was just L and x, uh, then you would have x bigger than 0, right? Because you can't take the log of 0 and you can't take the log of a negative number. So this piece always has to be positive. So in order to find the domain here, what you do is you just take this piece and you set it um, greater than 0. And then you would get xy bigger than 5. And that would be the condition that we would need for our domain. So it's the set of all ordered pairs, x comma y, such that x times y is bigger than 5. So that would be the domain. And the range would be all real numbers. If you're familiar with the graph of logs, um, it could be anything. So negative infinity to infinity, right? If you just look at l and x in one variable, uh, in the xy plane, uh, the range is all possible y values, so we get that. So I hope this video has been helpful, and it's been enlightening in some way, and it's helped you learn how to find the domain and range of various multivariable functions. That's it.